Today's retro spot, we're having a look at the Toy Biz DC Comics Superheroes The Penguin. Features an umbrella that fires missiles. Now, I didn't buy this at KB, even though there's a KB sticker up there that says $1.99. I ended up picking this up on eBay a while back, a long time ago. Um, but uh, one, thing I, one thing I do like about the DC Comics superheroes, I didn't collect a lot of them at the time that these were initially out. But one thing I liked about them was that, not in all cases, but they re somewhat re-released some of the original superpowers figures at a much cheaper price so i know some dc superpowers figures tend to be really expensive when you get them on ebay and you start looking for them to fill out your collection uh, these actually are a a cheaper alternative and uh just as happy just as happy i would say to get something like this than uh, necessarily than the dc uh, super superpowers version um, on the back, there's a picture of Penguin. Now, it does look like his face looks a little different on the actual back package than what we actually got in the figure here. Um, it says the Penguin is up to his old tricks with an umbrella which fires a, a safe, soft missile. Push the button on the umbrella handle to activate the firing mechanism of the soft, safe missile. Like how they feel the need to put it soft, safe missile. Penguin uses his special umbrella in defense against the forces of good. Curse you, cur curse you, forces of good. Collect them all. There's Wonder Woman, Lex Luthor, and Superman. Um, I think the Wonder Woman is just a straight out re release of Superpowers Wonder Woman. I think the Superman is. Just a retool, and I think they just incorporated that magnet inside his chest. And then you got the Penguin, the Riddler, Mr. Freeze, Robin. Down below there's a very retro newspaper article. It says, The Penguin Masterminds One Man Crime Wave. A daring series of robberies that have Gotham police baffled have been att uh, att attributed to the foul fiend, the Penguin. Batman's enemy has been known to have control over all the birds in the air, commanding them to commit crimes for him. He never goes anywhere without his deadly trick umbrellas, which he can fire bullets, throw flames, and even serve as a bulletproof shield. The Bumbershoot Bearing Bandit uh, may look comical, but his appearance be uh, bellies a vicious criminal mind. This also shows us down below the copyright too, 1989 as to when this figure was released. I love this packaging, and before we open it up, which ultimately we will do, um, I do really like this packaging. I mean, I remember still seeing these in Toys R Us when I was younger. Not super young in the fact that it's 1989, but as soon as you also see this, I always instantly think, okay, DC Comics superheroes as well. God, I just really love this gold going on there. I almost feel like I'm getting a limited edition figure when it's got a gold background. Uh, but what we are going to do in this retro spot is I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at this guy right here, the Penguin. So certainly stay tuned, guys. More retroness is on the way. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. You'll have to excuse Spot for holding this figure. This figure is extremely awkward and hard to stand on his own, as you can see right there. Maybe before we actually have a look at the penguin, let's look at the umbrella first that he comes with. You can see that he's got a nice umbrella that has the yellow, red, and blue. Also a firing mechanism. Which serves as the gimmick for the, for the umbrella. There's a little lever right here, a little button, that when you push it, it will fire. The top of the umbrella. Not very far as the spring inside is quite small but uh, it's still neat that it fires that off. I guess if you want to you can rotate it too. The handle seems like it's a little brittle so I would advise some caution when you store this away. 
and see if we can actually get him to hold it. Which, oh, I'm sure is likely going to help him to stand. No, it's not. It's going to make it even worse. We put it in his hand. He holds it. Congratulations. But yeah, it's definitely not going to. It's definitely not going to help him to stand. Take the umbrella out of his hand. When you get the penguin out of his package, out of the package that he comes with, uh, the tails of his. Uh, his jacket actually are a separate piece. You just have to peg it into his jacket like so. Uh, he is very portly. Is that the is that the nice way to say? Is that the nice way of saying fat? He's a little portly. Um, the expression on his face. Let's just zoom into that. He's very very classic penguin. monocle going on there. Certainly his penguin pointy nose. Sure, maybe the newer generation of Batman fans probably don't recognize Penguin looking like this. He's had certainly many incarnations. There's that mutated Penguin from Batman Returns. I always think of this guy, though. I always, for some reason, think of the white white top, the yellow on the bottom, the blue, the purple pants. Yeah, that for me, that's Penguin. I grew up, really, with the superpowers and, you know, the challenge of the super friends and stuff like that. So, for me, this kind of thing is always up more up my alley than, you know, the more realistic approach. You can see that he's... There's a little bit of a gap where his legs are. That will at least allow his legs to move around his portly belly. Unfortunately, his tail his tail keeps wanting to come off. If I wasn't so super concerned about this being a mint piece, I probably would just glue it on and, and call it a day. But we'll just snap that into place like so. In the way of his articulation... Penguin's head rotates left and right. His arms rotate. A little awkward because of the, the angle and the fact that he has to get around his stomach that his arms to move up. They kind of just move out like a V. Um, and then when you get down to his belly, they still go around his belly, but, I mean, it's just it, it, it's a little awkward. Just a little awkward, and you can see the tail keeps falling off there. His legs go forward, back, he also has, a, surprisingly, a bend in his knee, which is nice as well. Perhaps very so iconic uh, of, a, of a design for Penguin that even the new Batman Legacy 6-inch figures, we finally got ourselves a Superpowers-inspired Penguin. I am so excited for that. Uh, a review of him will be coming as well. Um, may not be everyone's cup of tea. If you're my age bracket or you just really like retro style toys, um, Penguin like like this Penguin here is definitely very awesome to have. It's a shame he doesn't stand very well. Let's get his umbrella back in place there. There you go. Uh, it's a shame he doesn't stand very well, but I guess on a display base or on... The, no, he doesn't have any peg holes on his feet, but... I guess if you have him leaning against another figure or leaning in against the back of a shelf, you may not have too much of a problem. I just wish his the tail of his uh, suit didn't fall off as much as they did. On a level of retro toys, I mean, I'm supposed not even going to try to pretend to compare this to like a NECA toy, but if you want to consider a retro style of figures, I like Penguin. I like the figure. Yeah, he doesn't stand. He falls. His tail keeps falling off. But you still gotta, you still gotta have a soft spot for something like this. And uh, I, I like him. I like him quite a bit. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him a seven, a very retro seven. Today's retro spot. <coughs> excuse me. Today's retro spot, though, we were having a look at the DC Superheroes Penguin. 
Good little firing umbrella, like so. Not very, not very uh, intimidating, but nonetheless, still a very cool toy to have. Certainly stick around also, guys. More retro spots are heading your way. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know down below what you think of this figure. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.